Hey, what's up friends? Dennis the Prescott here. One of my favorite sandwiches on the entire planet is a classic BLT. We're gonna take that to the next level today. We're making fried feta BLT sandwiches. I love BLT sandwiches. When I was a little kid, my dad would take me to this diner in the town I grew up in. We'd get BLT sandwiches with French fries. It was amazing, full of nostalgia. And BLTs are per they're a classic for a reason. They're perfect. But if you wanna take it to the next level, we're gonna do that today. We're gonna make fried feta BLT sandwiches. Feta cheese is amazing. When it's breaded, it's crunchy on the outside, salty, creamy, and delicious on the inside. It's just perfect, and it's amazing sandwiching for your friends and family. So the first thing you wanna do is get the bacon cracking and ready to go. We've got an oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna to top this bacon. We're gonna baste it with some maple syrup. That's gonna caramelize on the outside of the bacon, almost like meat candy. Coat the bacon entirely in maple syrup, then rock that in a 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes, flipping halfway through until crispy and golden to perfection. So the bacon's doing its thing. The next thing we're gonna do is get a mayo ready to go. In a bowl, combine your favorite mayo, parsley, basil, fresh lemon, garlic, and hit that with a little bit of salt and pepper, then mix well and place that in the fridge until you're ready to build your sandwiches. So the bacon is rocking away, mayo is all done. The next thing we're gonna do is get this feta ready to go. We've got three bowls, one with all-purpose flour, the other with a couple beaten eggs, and the last bowl is breadcrumbs. To that, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. Feta is really salty, so you don't need a lot, but just a nice little bit gives it an extra kick. Uh, and then we're gonna go in with some black pepper. So the best thing to do when you're breading anything this way is to have a dry hand and a wet hand. That makes your workflow way easier and makes cleanup way easier too. What you wanna do is take a piece of feta, we're gonna go into the all-purpose flour, get it entirely coated, switch hands into the egg wash, getting that nicely coated all over. And then lastly, we're gonna go into the breadcrumbs, making sure that every little bit is coated, switch hands again, and then just carry on breading the rest of the feta. So the feta's ready to go. The next thing we wanna do is heat about an inch of canola oil in a pan over medium heat to about 350 degrees or so. When that's hot, we're gonna fry the feta for about two to three minutes on each side until golden brown and perfect. All right, it is sandwich building time. Everyone has their own way of building their favorite BLT. You should really try this, it is amazing. Fried feta, maple bacon, it's incredible. The first thing we're gonna do is hit this with a little bit of this herb mayo on the bottom. Be super generous, it's delicious, it's nice, it's fragrant. On that with a couple pieces of this fried feta, because why not? We're gonna hit that with some maple bacon. Go on top of that with some of these tomatoes and a little bit of finishing salt. Tomatoes and salt are the best friends in the world. And then finally, some of this nice crisp lettuce. Hell yes, that is how you BLT. Next time you get that craving for a wicked sandwich, this is your go-to recipe. If you want the details, hit the link below to go to my website. Thanks for hanging out today, thanks for watching. If you're not part of this community already, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you next week for more deliciousness.